Right, today I'm going to do uh, a question about enthalpies, so I'm going to leave this for you to answer. But it says the student does an experiment to determine enthalpy change of combustion of propyl monol, which is MR60, and then it says combustion goes from 0 0.479 grams of propyl monol, increases temperature for 100, of 150 grams of water from 21 to 35, so it's an exothermic reaction. Uh, calculate the value of kJ kilojoules per mole minus 1 for enthalpy change of combustion. So when you have this question, the first thing you do, you put like this. You need to know this formula, Q equals mc delta T. Q is, is exchange heat with the, the exchange heat. Uh, then you, this is the mass of water, this specific heat capacity, that's a change of temperature. You don't have to put a sign of temperature there, but, you know, just, just do the change. You also need delta H equals to Q in kilojoules divided by moles. And then you can find the enthalpy change. Okay? So let's work out Q first. Q equals to mass of water, which is 150 grams, times 4.18 specific heat capacity, times a change. So it goes from 21, so 35.1 minus 21.2 which gives you 113.9. So Q equals to um, 87, when you do the calculation, 8715.3 joules. Now we've got to change this to kilojoules, so you divide that by 1,000. Then you go Q in kilojoules, which is 88.715 kilojoules. So you got that first to start with. You can put a, ne a negative value there if you want to, but you don't need to at the moment. Then you have the delta H equals to the kilojoules, which is 8.715 divided by moles. So we need to calculate moles now. So moles equals to 0 0.497 divided by 60, which is the molar mass given here. So that gave me... 0 0.008283 moles. So we got the moles now, so it's going to be put in this equation 0 0.008283. So that will give me delta H combustion equals to, um, that will give me 1052.2 kilojoules. And then you change that for 36 fix. So it'll be delta H combustion, which is 1050, 1050 kilojoules, uh, but has to be, you need to put a negative value here. Okay, it's negative because it's an exothermic reaction. You will get an extra mark for negative value. Don't forget the negative value for this answer. So the answer is minus 50 kilojoules per moles minus one. I hope that's helpful. So it always works like that in these type of questions. The next Thanks. part of this question is just a little one that usually comes. It says the enthalpy of combustion determined experimentally is less exothermic than the calculated using enthalpy change of formation. Give one possible reason for this other than heat loss. So you know that this you can have heat loss, you can have incomplete combustion. So you can put here incomplete combustion. Sorry about the dogs barking. Okay. You can also say non standard conditions for that. So that's the end of the question. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is this question here, which is slightly harder than the other one that we just done. So you got a different experiment, 50 centimeters, 0.5 aqueous hydrochloric acid, I react with 50 centimeters, 0 0.0 aqueous sodium hydroxide. This is a reaction, and this is uh, delta H is uh, minus 57.1, just means it's an like exothermic reaction. Initial temperature is, solution is 18.5. Assume specific heat capacity is 4.18 and the density is 1 gram per decimeter. So the first thing you need to do is um, you put Q equals mc delta T. But we don't have Q and we don't have the temperature change because we want to find out what's the final temperature. So we work out Q now by using this formula delta H equals to Q in kilojoules divided by moles. Now, we can work out moles by multiplying concentration times volume. So it will be moles equals to 0 0.5 times volume divided by 1,000. So moles equals to 0 0.025 moles. So we know that the H is 57.1 times moles, which is 0 0.025. 
it's going to give you your Q in kilojoules. Q in kilojoules, which is equals to um, one. Let me just calculate that quickly. Equals to one point four two seven five kilojoules. Now I need to change this for joules. So if to multiply, change this, you multiply by a thousand. Okay, so I'm talking about a thousand. It gives you uh, one four two seven point five joules. Once you have your Q, you can plug in in this equation. Just try here. Okay, so you can plug in this equation, which is Q equals to. So you rearrange this. So be one four two seven point five equals to mass which is 100 because it's 50 plus 50 times 4.18 times delta t then you got 142745 divided by uh, 418 which is 100 times equals to delta t so that will delta t is going to give you three point let me just work it out uh it gives me 3.42 okay so kilojoules, so del no, delta T, no delta H, delta T, delta T gives you 3.42 to change the temperatures. Because you started as 18.5 plus 3.42, you add them together. So your final temperature, temperature final is going to be 21.9, if I'm not mistaken, 21.9 degrees. Okay, so that's how you work out this question. I hope that it's helpful. I'm sorry I got a bit messed there, so I had to cover up. But um, that's how you work out. Thank you. Just to clarify one thing here is 18.5 initial. There was a temperature change of 3.42. So that's that's why you add them together to know the final temperature, which is 21.9 degrees. Okay. Um, I hope that was um, that was helpful for you to understand. Thank you. Bye bye.